So part of what we do out there in the community as community health workers is explain and help folks navigate the system. And guess what? The emergency room is open for you, but that's not the optimal case if you don't have a true emergency. So then making that distinction between what is urgent, what is an emergency, and what is just the regular maintenance. And then it comes that conversation on why is it so important to do that regular maintenance? But sometimes what I feel like in across all the communities that we serve, people have so much more to deal with that they are functioning, they are addressing emergencies. And if they don't have an emergency medical situation, they are not going to go there. So reaching out and bringing people in it is what our goal is, our mission and our challenge. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm just, I'm processing. <laughs> um, the cool thing is then we have this awesome program at Community Health. It's called the Volunteer Health Advisors Program. So every year we recruit about 25 to 30 people from the communities we serve that reflect that community. And we train them as community health workers. And after we train them, they volunteer with us for 48 hours. And what they do, they help us connect with communities. Some of them work with churches. Some of them work with you know, municipalities or community-based organizations. And they help us do the work we do over a period of a year. And then after that, that also works as a connection for them to find jobs as community health workers. So it's an awesome little program. Cool. And just to speak to that as a you know primary care clinician, I remember a time, and this is a while ago, this is pre-COVID, but I had a patient come into the office who was a new patient to CHA. She was new to the U.S. and didn't speak English yet and was accompanied by someone, a VHA, who I didn't actually speak the same language as her. So it wasn't acting as a translator at all, but there was enough cultural similarity that the patient was able to overcome her fears, partly just by having another woman there, but also having someone who could share some of her deepest fears with me as a provider. So it also you know, helped me as the provider to step back for a second from the kind of clinical space and really kind of think about what is the most important thing to this person in this moment in time. And that VHA was just so helpful in helping me prioritize and and really understand from the patient's perspective what was the most important. It was a beautiful moment. It's a great program. 